either it's Tekken, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, I'm sure you've played fighting games in some time in your life before. And if you've experienced gaming in the 2000s, then you have no doubt played PSP 2. Are you feeling nostalgic about the past and wondering which fighting games is the best of all times or the best in PSP handheld console? Well sit tight because in this video, I will make a list of top 10 fighting games for the PSP. A little disclaimer, this list is my version of top 10 fighting games. This is not the final list. You don't have to agree with me, just enjoy the video. Are you ready to begin? Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max Originally released in 1998 for the arcade, it is the third and final installment of Street Fighter Alpha. Alpha 3 further expanded the playable fighter roster from Street Fighter Alpha 2 and added new features such as selectable fighting styles called isms. The standard style is A-ism and is based on the previous Alpha games where the player has a 3 level super combo gauge with access to several super combo moves. The simple mode is called X-isms where the player has a single level super combo gauge and a single but powerful super combo move. The last style, V-ism, allows the player to do custom combo. Darkstalkers Chronicle The Chaos Tower it was originally a Japan-only Dark Star Coast game that was released on the Dreamcast, but Capcom ported it to the PSP handheld console. It was released at the same time as the console's launch, December 12, 2004 in Japan and March 24, 2005 in North America. Europe gets its version last in September 1st. This game has all the characters from the previous titles in the series and also includes all the endings from Darkstalkers, Darkstalkers Revenge, and Darkstalkers 3. The game is probably one of the best fighting games ever made in its time, and it also nominated as the best fighting games of 2005. Mortal Kombat Unchained Originally known as Mortal Kombat Deception on PlayStation 2 and Xbox, this game was later ported to PlayStation Portable in 2006 as Mortal Kombat Unchained. The game's story introduces a new enemy, Onaga the Dragon King, replacing Quan Chi and Shang Tsung as the series antagonists. The game's story mode is called Conquest, and it follows the main character, who appropriately named Shujin Ko, as Onaga deceived him to gather artifacts that will later give Onaga his power back. Now you know why this game is originally titled Deception. This title also has two mini games, Chess Combat and Puzzle Combat. In Chess Combat, you basically play a game of chess, but each time you want to take a square, you have to fight one round with the enemy's piece. While Puzzle Combat is a mini game similar to Super Puzzle Fighter, where if you connect blocks of the same color, then all connected blocks of the same color will disappear. Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger Calamity Trigger was originally released on the arcades, but it is ported to PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Windows, and in 2010 to PlayStation Portable. As an anime fighter, Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger has four common buttons, which are called a, B, C, and D. The A, B, and C buttons will do a normal attack that varies with the damage and attack speed. The D button, however, is unique to each character, making unique gameplay mechanics for each characters. The game has a deep gameplay that I can't summarize in this short review, but Blaze Blue is one of my favorite fighting games, and if it's not a port, this game will land higher up the ranking. Guilty Gear Double X Action Core Plus Guilty Gear X2 was first released in the arcades back in 2002 and later ported to PlayStation 2 in 2003. After that, the game got many updates, and by many, I mean many. From Guilty Gear X2 Hashtag Reload, Guilty Gear Double X Slash, Guilty Gear Double X Action Core, Guilty Gear Double X Action Core Plus, and finally, Guilty Gear Double X Action Core Plus R. The one released for PSP is Guilty Gear Double X Action Core Plus, 
featuring the return of Cliff and Justice, Mission Mode, a new survival mode, a new collider mode with additional illustrations. This version also fixes some bugs from the previous version while also rebalances the game. Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team Developed by Spike and published by Namco Bandai Games, Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team is the only game in the Budokai Tenkaichi series that's released for the handheld console. As written on the title, this game features two vs two fights. The story mode called The Dragon Walker follows the events from the anime and manga. Just like the other game in the Budokai Tenkaichi series, this game has a ton of characters, with over than 40 characters from the Dragon Ball Z timeline. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Heroes 3 The first game of Naruto Ultimate Ninja series was published in 2004 for PlayStation 2 console, and it has 5 spin-offs for PlayStation Portable. Ultimate Ninja Heroes 3 is the last title in the Heroes series and it is a PlayStation Portable exclusive game. The game is over 50 characters in the roster and has a 4-player local multiplayer feature. The game has two stories. One is a regular story that follows the manga, while the other one is designed by CyberConnect2. Dissidia Duo Decim Final Fantasy Dissidia Duo Decim Final Fantasy is both the prequel and remake of Dissidia Final Fantasy revealing what occurred before the events of the first game. Released in 2011, the game is not much different than Dissidia Final Fantasy but with a few changes. The attack consists of Blue Attack, HP Attack, along with EX Revenge and Assist. The game initially focuses on the 12th war between two gods, Chaos and Cosmos, who uses warriors from parallel worlds to fight for them. After ending the 12th cycle, the game remakes the 13th war from the original Dissidia with some additional side quests. Tekken 6 Originally released on the arcade, Tekken 6 was ported to PlayStation Portable on November 24, 2009. Tekken 6 adds a new feature to the series with its rage system that increases the character's strength when their health drops low. The game introduces new characters including Lars, Heihachi's illegitimate son, Alessa, a robot that can use her head as a weapon, Leo, a Pachi Chuan fighter, Bob, a martial arts genius, Miguel, a matador who have a personal revenge with Jin, and Zafina, who wants to prevent the clash of two evil stars. Soul Calibur Broken Destiny the number one thing that makes me give the number one position to Soul Calibur Broken Destiny is this game is not a port from arcade or other console, but developed for PlayStation Portable from the get-go. Released in 2009, it brings many features that also found in Soul Calibur 4. What makes me like this game a lot is this game's story mode, which is called the Content Mode also acts as a tutorial mode that teaches players, especially new ones, about fighting game mechanics. I like it when games trying to bring fresh blood to the genre, it keeps the genre alive. Do you agree with my list or do you prefer another game take the number one position? Anyway, those are games that are released in the past. If you want to know my prediction for fighting games in 2024 and beyond, you can click the video right over here.